Hi, welcome to Sunday's The Car Wash Factory. I'm Bob Fox with Car Wash College. Let's talk about air pressure and how it relates to our wraparounds. Before we start, make sure you get a copy of the owner's manual, which you can download at sundaysdirect.com and review all the safety information related to this procedure. Next, gather the tools and supplies you'll need for safety glasses. Now, let's get started. One thing we see too often is people who have too much air on their air retracts. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you have too much air. George, go ahead and hit that, please. Yes, sir. See how it really compresses the spring? We don't need that much pressure to bring it in. Take it back out, George. When you see it retracting with 60 pounds of pressure on it like that, how fast it moved and crashed into the frame, that's what we don't want. We always want nice, gentle, fluid motions on our retract and our inward pressure. George, lower the pressure, then bring it in again, please. We do want it to compress the spring just slightly. And we want it to retract nice and gentle. Take it back. A little bit faster than that would be fine, George. One more time, in and out. Okay, retract it, please. There we go. So now we're also gonna talk about inward pressure and how we're gonna use that to help wash the car. The faster the conveyor speed goes, the more air pressure we'd like to put on it so it really loads up on the back of an SUV or a car. And we'll go over to the, to the uh, air manifold to make those adjustments as well. So we just showed you the proper way to adjust your retract pressure, but there's also inward washing pressure. As your conveyor speed picks up, we also wanna put inward pressure on our wraparounds so they can load up on the back of an SUV or a, or a car and come all the way across. So the faster we go, the more air pressure we wanna add. Generally when we're running slow chain speed, just a little bit of air pressure would be fine, but as we get into the 100, 120 car an hour chain speed, we're gonna make an adjustment to the air regulator. George, you wanna show them how we adjust the inward wash pressure there? Sure, Bob. We're gonna activate the MAC valve and we're gonna adjust the regulator. We're gonna come up a little bit. We're right at about 25 to 30 PSI right now. Okay, and that's on the driver's side wrap, so we make an adjustment on both sides. Actually, the passenger side, we're gonna add a little bit more air pressure because it's a longer arm, it's got a longer way to go, correct? That's correct. So if you look in the Sunday's manual on, for the wraparound washers, there's a speed chart in there. You set your wraparound washer inward washing pressure according to how fast you're running. Um, really maximize the usage of your wraps. Never miss the back end of a, of a car. The faster you go, and if you go even faster, we have another adjustment we're gonna show you here in just a minute. Keeping up with this and all preventative maintenance at the car wash helps eliminate unscheduled downtime and ensure you're delivering a consistent wash experience that will make Raven fans of your customers. Thanks for watching. For more frequently asked car wash maintenance questions, visit us at sundaysdirect.com forward slash FAQ. I hope to see you in the Car Wash College classroom real soon. And as always, good luck and good washing.